let's consider a birth death process which has the property that there are no deaths at all. So we have a, a state and then the transition rate under the state and so on. So there are no deaths, just births. And we call this a pure birth process. Now, uh, we'll consider a specific kind of pure birth process where the, the, where the transition rate is independent of the state. So we always have a transition rate of lambda as we go from one state to another. So uh, this lambda represents the rate at which we transition from one state to another. And the rate of lambda means that we sort of expect the population to grow by one, one every lambda second. So every uh, one over lambda seconds, uh, the population increases by one. And of course, this is going to lead to an unbounded population. by one. Okay, uh, this actually is not an ergodic uh, process because we don't have any communication back from the other states back to the first state, but nevertheless, uh, we can still study it because we don't need ergodicity for, for, the, uh, for some of the properties. So we want to study uh, the probability of being in state J at time T. So probability of being in state J at time T. So uh, let's say this is state J, somewhere over here is state J. How do we get here? Well, we get to state J if we have uh, J arrivals, because over here we have zero. So this is equivalent to J arrivals in time t. So uh, how do we find that out? OK, so uh, we can derive the probability of being in any state. Actually, we can we recall that the rate at which we are going to transition out of any state, which is given by d pi j t by dt, is, is given by minus lambda pi j t plus lambda pi j minus 1 t for j greater than or equal to 1. And d pi 0, this is the boundary condition, by dt is equal to minus lambda pi 0 t. So this is just the, uh, the equations for a continuous time Markov chain. Um, for uh, the r dynamic evolution of prob uh, of uh, of the dynamic evolution of probabilities of being in any state for a continuous time Markov chain, and they just substituted uh, lambda and uh, for the uh, uh, departure rates from each state, and all the departure rates are the same. So it's minus lambda everywhere. We don't have lambda zero, lambda one as before. And all the mu's are zero, so we get a fairly straightforward equation. And so this second equation over here is a very straightforward differential equation. And the solution for that is given simply by pi 0 t equals e to the minus lambda t. And so uh, as you can see, we all it's, what it's saying is that this is of the form dx by dt equals minus lambda x, and for which the solution is e to the minus x t. So uh, we substitute for x, it's going to be lambda t. So this is nothing more than the, uh, this gives us the value for pi 0 t. And then substituting that into this equation over here, we'll get d pi 1 t by dt equals minus lambda pi 1 t plus lambda e to the minus lambda t. Uh, because that is nothing more than this value over here, lambda e to the minus lambda t. We're substituting for pi j minus 1 t is lambda e to the minus lambda t. And the solution for this, again, we're from straightforward differential analysis, is that pi 1 t equals lambda e to the minus lambda t. And we can substitute this back into this equation over here. Eventually, we'll get pi j t, the probability of being in the jth state at time t, 
is nothing more than lambda t to the j by j factorial e to the minus lambda t. And this is the probability of j arrivals in time t. So this is exactly what we want. And this, of course, if you remember if from your probability class, is nothing more than the uh, density function of a Poisson process. Or Poisson. This is the density uh, of a the probability density function a, a Poisson process with parameter lambda t. In other words, what we've seen is that a pure birth process uh, such as this, which has only arrivals at the rate lambda, but the arrival rate is independent of the state, is exactly the same as a Poisson process with the parameter lambda t. And uh, so the pure, pro pure birth process is an alternative way of looking at the Poisson process. And then we can also see that the Poisson distribution can be viewed as characterizing the behavior of such a process. And so this process is really very important in queuing theory. Uh, and the, this particular equation, which tells us the probability of J arrivals in, in, in the time t, given that this parameter is uh, the simplest possible model for arrivals into any queue. If you don't know very much about a queue, one of the standard assumptions we make is that it's arriving from a Poisson process. It's not a very um, necessarily the best assumption, but it's a reasonable assumption at first shot, and it certainly makes uh, the analysis of the system much easier. Now, the uh, mean of a Poisson process is given by its parameter, so the mean is uh, going to be its parameter. So the mean is also going to be lambda t, which means that in time t seconds, we expect lambda t arrivals. So, and that kind of makes sense because we're expecting every one over lambda seconds, the population increases by one, and that means that in t seconds, we should expect lambda arrivals, and so that makes sense as well. 